Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply Fermat's Little Theorem. Fermat's Little Theorem is really useful in contest math where you'll often bump into questions like this, which is, what is the remainder when you divide 7 to the 2001 power by 5? Um, now, I typed 7 to the 2001 power into my TI-89 calculator, and it told me that it's infinity. So it's impractical to try and find the value of this number to in and then to in turn divide it by 5. But Fermat's Little Theorem is not the only approach to solving this problem. Another really good approach is looking at what happens when you divide consecutive powers of 7 by 5. This is what I mean. So you take 7 to the first, which is 7, and you divide it by 5, you get a remainder of 2. You take 7 to the second, which is 49, and you divide it by 5, and you get a remainder of 4. And you keep doing this, and you look at the remainders, looking for them to repeat after a while. So that's a really good approach. But I think uh, the best approach and the most efficient solution comes from applying Fermat's Little Theorem. All right, cool. So let's start by stating Fermat's Little Theorem. Remember, Fermat's Little Theorem said, a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. So Fermat's Little Theorem is written in modular arithmetic. And we also require that p be a prime and that a be a natural number. Uh, and remember, modular arithmetic is inherently about remainders. So Fermat's Little Theorem is about a remainder, a specific remainder, and that is 1. Because what it's saying is if you take a to the power p minus 1 and divide it by p, then it will leave a remainder of 1. That's all Fermat's Little Theorem is saying. Yeah? Cool. And again, we require that P be a prime and A be a natural number. And our situation has exactly that. 5P is a prime, and 7, which is A, is a natural number. Uh, although 7 is a prime, uh, primes are natural numbers. So we're good. Yeah? Cool. So applying from our little theorem once, we can write the following, which is 7 to the 4th is congruent to 1 mod 5. Yeah? All right. Now, in addition to Fermat's Little Theorem, to solve our problem of dividing 7 to the 2001 by 5, we'll need to know how to multiply in modular arithmetic. So we need the multiplication rule for modular arithmetic. Now, in this video, I'm just going to state this rule. Uh, in a different video, I'll explain it and prove it. So look for that video. But yeah, the multiplication rule for modular arithmetic says the following. If you have that a is congruent to b mod n and c is congruent to d mod n, then a times c has to be congruent to b times d mod n. Um, okay, cool. Uh, but where's our second statement? Well, we're allowed to write the same statement by applying for Fermat's theorem once. So we write this. Now we've got two statements where we can use the multiplication rule for modular arithmetic. So using this multiplication rule, we can write the following, which is 7 to the 8th is congruent to 1 mod 5. Now, we can take this last statement, the fact that 7 to the 8th is congruent to 1 mod 5, um, and one of our earlier statements, which is 7 to the 4th is congruent to 1 mod 5, and apply the multiplication rule again to write the following, which is 7 to the 12th is congruent to 1 mod 5. You get it. So we proceed in this manner until we eventually get to this statement, which is 7 to the 2000 is congruent to 1 mod 5. We're almost there, guys. Uh, the only thing we need is the following true statement, which is 7 is congruent to 2 mod 5. And that should be abundantly clear. We already said it. 7, when divided by 5, leaves a remainder of 2. That's all that 7 is congruent to 2 mod 5 is saying. Yeah? Cool. So we take this last statement and our second to last statement and apply the multiplication rule one final time to write this, which is the answer to our question, which is that 7 to the 2001 power is congruent to 2 mod 5. So the remainder when we divide 7 to the 2001 power by 5 is 2. Isn't that cool? I thought so. Uh, and guys, note that you could apply this whether or not you've got 7... You could apply it if it's 6, any other natural number, and whether or not you've got a number as small as 2001. It could be a really, really big number. It doesn't matter. You can take the same approach and get a, an efficient solution to what appears to be a really hard problem. I hope you enjoyed this, and keep watching. There will be many more videos on modular arithmetic, and I'll even prove for modular theorem in a different video. Take care.